Dan Horde Bearcat football practice with the king of pain, Leviticus Payne, number nine. Nobody hits harder pound for pound on the Bearcat defense. We didn't know if you were going to play in game one. You've had a little bit of a sore foot, and I think ideally they would have liked to have kept you out of that game, but your position is banged up right now, and as a result, you wound up playing quite a bit. Yes, sir. Um, I, I was mentally ready for the game. You know, I try to stay mentally ready and focused because I, I knew at some point in time uh, my number was going to get called, so I just wanted to be uh, prepared just for that situation. What did you think of the atmosphere moving back into the renovated Nippert Stadium? It was awesome, man. It was awesome. It was, it was honestly a blessing just to be a part of this whole situation, and uh, I'm just honored to be a part of it. All right. Uh, the defense began the game, I think, with three straight three and outs. Maybe it was four. Eventually, Alabama A&M scored a touchdown. But overall, what did you think of the defense's performance? Uh, it was pretty good. We got a lot of areas to improve in. Uh, a lot of areas we need to get better in, but as a whole, the first game, I feel like we did a solid job with a lot of improvement that we need to make, and uh, I think we're going to see that from week one to week two. You play an interesting position and a vital one for Cincinnati. The Bearcats play a lot of a 4-2-5 defense, and you're kind of the swing guy. It's like a linebacker slash safety slash corner at the same time. Yes, sir. Uh, it's a position I've been working on for the past couple of years. Uh, Coach Clink, uh, our new defensive coordinator, gave me the uh, opportunity, and I just ran with it, and uh, I'm loving it right now, man. I just, I, I get to fit the runs, you know. I played a little bit of, uh, a little bit of nickel in high school, uh, so I get to fit the runs. I like to play the pass. It's, it's a little bit of everything, and I like to be involved, so I, I really like the role. You gave me a great line last spring because you're not the biggest guy on the field, but you say, I try to play like I'm 6'3", 230. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that's just how I try to play. You know, uh, I like to play uh, bigger uh, than what I actually am. You know, that's just mentally, physically. You know, I know, I know I, I'm trying to put myself in the right positions to make the plays, and I just like try to let my play speak for itself. So. All right, it's only week two of the season, but you got a critical game coming up on Saturday night at Nippert Stadium. It's a league game against Temple. This is a team that opened the season with a 17-point win over Penn State. How much did that catch your eye? Uh, definitely caught my attention, uh, but we're going to prepare for them as a championship game, and I'm going to prepare each game after them like a championship game because it's, it's going to take all of, one by one you know, to get, get the job done. So we're going to really prepare for them like a – like it was ECU of last year. So we're going to really you know, be on our stuff and uh, going to be on it tomorrow. Their quarterback, P.J. Walker, is in his third year as the starter there. And he might be the most mobile quarterback that you're going to face all year, right? Uh, yes, sir. Him and uh, the dude from Houston, uh, I would say he's, a, he's a more of a passer than the dude from Houston. But he's definitely an athlete. We're going to respect him, and we're going to try to keep him contained, you know, keep him contained, and uh, hopefully force him to make some bad throws. All right. It's good to see you on the field last Saturday night. Uh, best of luck this week. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. That is Leviticus Payne, and I'm Dan Horde for Bearcats TV.